Hey guys, what up? Welcome back to number three in um, our tinted moisturizer search. I think though that this might be the last one. Um, I told you guys that I ordered five tinted moisturizers from separate places. Um, these last three I got from um, Ulta. I got the Winky Lux um, tinted white tea tinted veil. I thought I had picked up medium deep, but instead I picked up deep and it is too dark. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use this, plus the pump is broken. So I can't get anything out of the container, which is kind of sad because part of the reason I got suckered into the packaging, you guys know I'm a packaging junkie. And when I saw the packaging, I was just like, oh my God, that's so cute. So this is what the packaging looks like. Um, pull it off and the pump is right there, but I actually cannot get anything out of the pump. I'm going to try though. I'm going to try. But yeah. The next item that I had gotten was... I had gotten the ColourPop Pretty Fresh um, Hyaluronic Tinted Moisturizer. And I... I went on ColourPop's website to color match myself because we've had this conversation about how Ulta and Sephora be playing in Photoshop, so I figured I would be able to get a better match on the ColourPop website. So I went to ColourPop and I had narrowed it down to like three shades because 13 Warm, 14 Warm, and 15 Warm basically looked like the same shades just with very slight differences so i figured i would split the difference and just get 14 because it looked like i could wear all three of them and the swatch in the picture on the ulta website was so light it is so different however it turns out ulta was not the one that was playing in photoshop for once this is what was on the color pop website and this is what came in the mail so yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to try this or even send it back to um, to get a new one because where in the hell, you know, let me open it again. Where in the hell is this and this anywhere near the same color? Like literally anywhere. Anywhere. Finally, the last item that I got seems to be good. Um, this is the Clinique um, Moisture Surge Sheer Tint Hydrator Broad Spectrum with SPF 25. I can't really read you any details from the website because um, my internet is down today. It's been down since like 1 o'clock this morning. I don't know what the hell is happening. Um, but I can try to read you what's on the back. I can't see very well. It says, Skin's Easiest Way to Face the Day. Hydration Perfecting Tint and protection all in one refreshing formula. Powerful hydrating ingredients including hyaluronic acid and activated aloe water help keep skin plumped and dewy for 12 hours. Mimetic shade technology means each sheer perfecting shade blends flawlessly with a range of skin tones. SPF and antioxidants help shield skin from the harmful effects of UV, pollution, pollen, and other impurities. Sweat and humidity resistant formula leaves skin with a fresh natural finish all day, oil free. So this I believe has, like I said, I can't look um, because I I don't have the website. I believe this has six shades. Um, this one is universal medium deep. This was number four, I believe. Um, and it is $39 for 1.4 fluid ounces. Uh, this is, I think this is new, I'm not sure, but this is what the bottle looks like, universal, medium deep. Give you guys a swatch right quick. And the swatch seems to be a really good color, even though it does seem to be a bit on the neutral side, but you know, so that's what universal, medium deep looks like. As per usual, in the spirit of expediency, I have already applied um, my sunscreen, which is, as usual, the Ilya sunscreen. That's literally the only thing that I've been using. Um, and I've also done my under eyes with a skin tone concealer, which is the uh, Inglot AMC concealer. And I'm just going to go in with a brush. Like, I know you're supposed to be able to use tinted moisturizers with your hands, but you guys know how I feel about that. This color seems to be pretty decent. There is a slight scent.
it's like a slight oceany scent. It's not bad. Okay, what do you guys think? Um, there is a little bit of coverage. There's some evening out of the skin tone. This actually reminds me of the Sephora one. Um, it's just a little bit more neutral than the Sephora one. The Sephora one is warmer. Um, but um, this isn't bad. Let me finish up the rest of my face. And I did use like one and a half uh, squeeze tube thingies, I guess. I don't know. Um, for that one side of my face. So it's... It, it's decent. It's decent. I don't like the smell. I'm actually a little bit afraid of the smell right now because I don't know if my skin's going to react to it or not. But all right, guys, here is my complete face uh, finished with the moisturizer, and it is uh, very dewy. You guys know how I feel about that, but it doesn't suck. My face is starting to like tingle just a little bit, so um, I'm not happy about that. It does, like I said, remind me a lot of the Sephora one in terms of the um, the dewiness uh, for like basically twice the the price point. Um, but it does remind me of the Sephora one in terms of the dewiness. Um, however, it is not as warm as the Sephora one. In fact, with the combination of the sunscreen and the neutral um, undertones of the foundation, I feel like I'm going a slight bit gray, not too much. I feel like if I kept this on for like an hour or two and I came back, I would probably be much more gray than I am looking right now, but we shall see. Um, it's not bad. It's the, the coverage is decent, actually. I just don't really like how dewy it looks. And it's weird because like the Sephora one was dewy, but I actually liked the dewiness of that one. This one is the kind of dewy that I don't care for where it just looks kind of greasy to me. Um, so I don't know. So like I really kind of want to like powder this because um, I hate how dewy it is. I just don't like the way it looks. Uh, so like if I wore this, I would actually probably powder it to make it not look quite so dewy. I'm just, I don't know. It's so weird to me that some products can, can be dewy and it, it looks like a very natural dew. What? Wait. It, it's weird to me how some products can be dewy and, and just look very naturally dewy and then other products can be dewy and just look like super greasy. To me right now, my face looks very greasy and I'm not here for that. So this is probably not something that I would wear out. I like the color match. The color match is decent. Like I said, I'm going a little bit gray the longer that I sit here and I'm looking at it. Um, but it just looks so greasy. Oh my God. And I think it's it, it has something to do with the sunscreen also, why it looks like that. It's just like a weird kind of reflective grease. Does that make sense? Like, I feel like I'm not making sense, but I don't like it, y'all. I don't like it. It was kind of like how, I don't know if you guys remember the Givenchy one that I did earlier, um, that I did last week how it looked unnatural but because it was matte it didn't look that bad um this one has a dewy component it has a sunscreen that also has the reflectiveness of a sunscreen like you know that kind of bluish reflectiveness and the undertone is neutral so all those things combined is making me really not like what's going on on my face which is sad because the if not for the sunscreen and the dewiness, I'd probably like it a lot more than I do. I would probably try to fix this grayness that's going on on my face right now. Like, it's progressively getting more and more gray. I don't know if you can tell from the screen, but it's progressively. And, and that's what happens to me with Clinique foundations. They go on great, and then in about, you know, an hour, it, they look terrible on me because all of their foundations have, like, a neutral undertone to them. Um, cause I guess they're trying to serve so many skin tones, but some people cannot wear neutrals. So this is generally what happens to me with Clinique, uh, foundations. Like I start off great and I love them. And then within like 20 minutes, I'm just like, no, 
this ain't it. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me for my review on the Clinique Moisture Surge Sheer Tint Hydrator Broad Spectrum SPF 25. And I really wish companies would stop putting SPF in their uh, base products because it is inefficient. It does not work well. Um, and we just need to use our own SPF anyway. But yeah, thank you guys for joining me. Um, I'm not a fan of this. It's going to be returned. Mm. Uh, I'm so sad, like so far the only two that I've liked are the Givenchy and uh, the Sephora one which I sent back because we had that conversation. But yeah, I was really actually looking forward to the um, the Colourpop one, so I'm kind of upset that the color, the swatch on the website was so, so trash. Um, but yeah guys, thanks for joining me for this. This is not my cup of tea. Um, all things considered, if the dewiness of the foundation, not foundation, if the dewiness of the tinted moisture right, moisturizer wasn't there, I would probably like it more. But to me, it is too dewy. It is like a greasy, unnatural looking dewy. So it's not for me. But I hope you liked it or you liked my review. As usual, it's been real, it's been fun, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.